Before finishing can begin, it's recommended that manufacturers check the viscosity of their coating. The coating viscosity is a measurement of the coating's resistance to flow as measured by time and by temperature. Viscosity has a significant impact on finish quality. A higher viscosity material is harder to atomize than a low viscosity material. Regardless of whether the viscosity is high or low, we need to know what the viscosity range is for each of our different coating materials. In order to check a coating's viscosity, we need to have three tools. A stopwatch for checking the time, a heat sensor for checking the temperature of the coating, and a viscosity cup. There are many different types of viscosity cups. A cross-reference chart has been included with this program for your convenience. Temperature has a major impact on a coating's viscosity. Cold materials will have a very high viscosity, where warm materials will have a very low viscosity. Most of your material suppliers use 70 degrees as a baseline temperature when they specify a coating's viscosity. As the ambient temperature in your finishing department can vary greatly from season to season, in order to check viscosity accurately, you will first need to check the temperature of the coating. In this example, we will use a heat sensor to take a reading of the coating before we check our viscosity. Next, we will need a viscosity cup and a stopwatch. To begin the process, place the viscosity cup into the coating and make sure that your stopwatch is zeroed out. Then, simultaneously lift the viscosity cup out of the coating and start the stopwatch. You will notice that there is a stream of material running out of the cup. Once that stream breaks, you will stop the watch. The time elapsed on the stopwatch is the viscosity of your coating under your ambient conditions. The viscosity cup has a precision hole drilled into the bottom of the cup. This hole should never be distorted as it could affect your viscosity readings. The viscosity for each of your coatings should be noted and tracked on a regular basis. Although the viscosity range might vary a couple of seconds either way, a high viscosity or low viscosity that is out of range should be an indicator to the operator that there is a problem and the material should probably not be used. 